is this win to Triple G's legacy? No, I'm not one too big on legacy. I'm, uh, I think it's important for our sport. Uh, we have a lot of other young kids here that are hopefully going to prosper in, in the sport as well. I'd like for Gennady to, to do well, to, to be remembered for great fights. Uh, but uh, as far as a legacy, uh, everybody's got an opinion about that. Everybody likes a style, doesn't like a style, likes a fighter, doesn't like a fighter. So as long as he's happy with what he's done and, he, and he's successful in his life, that's what's important to me. Most people think that he won the first fight. There are a few that don't, but for the most part, most people think he won. Do you think, you know, in the old days, I mean, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, all the greats in the past, they had losses. But it seems like now more than ever, the, the zero or the no, you know, no, no ties, no defeats is really important. Does that matter? No, I don't think it matters to him. Really, he just puts it, wants to put on a good show. And you're, you're absolutely right. Today, the networks put so much value on a, on a zero, put so much value on an undefeated, when really they learn more from a defeat than they learn from another one run knockout. Uh, I had Terry Norris back in the 90s who, by the time we won the title with John Mugabe, he had three losses already. He got knocked out by Julian Jackson and won those losses. He's in the Hall of Fame. He became such a great fighter, and I think the loss was beneficial in that. Uh, too much emphasis is put on, on on those losses today. The better fights usually are the guys that are more experienced with some losses and, and, and experience in the big in the big fights. Uh, you know, Canelo is kind of the cash cow, I guess, right now. Um, the first fight, like I said, most people thought he won. We've seen, you know, his fight, other fights, questionable decisions here and there over the, the the past few years. Can he get a fair decision? If, if he did the same performance and the fight went similar, can he get a fair shake, or does he need to dominate even more and even maybe get a match? Well, you know, unfortunately, in this sport, there's always that, uh, that one fighter or one commission that favors um, a particular style, a particular fighter, in a lot of ways, before and after the fight and, and during the fight. Um, I think that because of the first one, there's going to be a lot more scrutiny, not only on the judges, but on the commission in, in Nevada, uh, to make sure that it's uh, at least a fair decision. At least it's an even playing field, and, and if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. But uh, as long as it's an even playing field, then I think the, the scrutiny and the, uh, the magnifying glass is going to be on them. And I think that uh, I think it's going to be a great show. I think, they're going to, they, I think that they understand what went wrong the first time. Um, and I think that this time it'll be the kind of fight that uh, not only the fans will enjoy, but uh, there will be no controversy and nobody will have to talk bad about it.